Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video for you guys on how I do my base for Instagram. So in this video I'm just gonna explain and highlight some of the products I use and also gonna show you how to glow. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. You can do it for free down below. Without further ado, let's get right into it. As you can see, I already did my eyes and that was in my previous video. I will link that video down below and also in the eye on top here or here. I don't know where it is, but I'm going to link it right there. And I already moisturized my skin. Um, so now I'm just going to go ahead and prime my face. For primer today, I'm using the NYX No Filter Blurring Primer. So I just take a little dot of that and then stipple it all over my face blending that all in by the way if my top lip looks a little bit weird i got it touched up with feathers yesterday so there is a little bruise right there and it's bigger than my lower lip because it's still swollen so please ignore that um it will be fine but it looks a little bit crazy right now it will be fine i promise <laughs> i like to take a little bit of the mac fix plus and spray it all over my face to give a little bit extra hydration and for foundation today i'm using the giorgio Armani luminous silk in the shade 2 with my beauty blender i'm gonna stipple that all over my face so i have a few spots on this side of my face so i'm gonna use the morphe concealer and this is in the shade nude So now I'm just going to do a little bit of cream contouring using this iconic multi-use contouring set. I like to use the middle shade and the right shade. And for this I'm using a Sigma F61 angled cream contour brush. So if you guys want to see a more in-depth video on how I cream contour, then leave it in the comments down below and I will definitely do that. My beauty blender again to blend it out. Sorry if you see this mirror all the time. Um, I do actually wear glasses because I can't wear lenses and I can't see that good from afar so I have to have the mirror close to me. I used to contour my forehead a lot but I've been doing it less and less and I actually think it looks way better and I usually only apply it to the side so not on the middle of my forehead because I don't know I feel like my face shape needs all the contouring on the side and then leave the middle as long as possible because I have a pretty round face so I want to elongate this part of my face so make sure everything is nice and blended you can never blend enough I'm gonna switch over to the tip of the sponge and then I'm gonna blend out the nose I'm not gonna swipe I'm just gonna tap 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 so now I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair on the tip of my nose and then a straight line down. This is not straight. Then also underneath the eyes but I'm not taking it up too high because I want to blend it and diffuse it with the lower lash line. Apply it down the sides of my nose. So I'm gonna leave out the nostrils and like the parts I contoured. And then also a little bit right there. Not too much and not all the way down because I want to slim this part of my face. Taking a little bit more of my Fix Plus. And then I'm going to use the clean tip side of my Beauty Blender. And I'm going to start blending it out. And if it becomes a little bit too light, you can go in with the butt end of the Beauty Blender. And just blend over it. So that everything becomes a seamless base. Okay, so try to get underneath the eyes as much as possible. I need to go back in with the eyeshadow anyways, but don't try to overdo it because you will get those lines underneath the eyes and that's not pretty. And then also really blend it into the sides of the nose. Then I'm getting my RCMA translucent powder and I'm gonna use that to bake a little tiny bit, not too much. And make sure your beauty blender is still damp enough. If it's not, you can spray a little bit of Fix Plus on your beauty blender. And I'm just gonna apply that right there underneath the eyes. And I really, <coughs> and I really blend it into those nose lines because those tend to crease like crazy on me. So I'm just getting a fluffy brush to blend all the powder away. I 
because I really like a full coverage base, I'm gonna take my Hello Flawless Powder Foundation in the shade Ivory. I'm gonna take that on my Morphe Y7 brush and really press it into the skin. Of course you don't have to do this. I really like to be full coverage as fuck, but to be honest, I would only do this when I go to an event or anything special. And this also helps me with staying on uh, my makeup all day long without creasing or anything. And I'm gonna uncover my beauty mark. Even though I get bullied a lot for it, it's just me and I love it. I'm just embracing it and it doesn't need any foundation. Moving on to contour and bronzer, I'm first going to use this Hoola Light by Benefit and I'm going to use a Morphe M527. I don't really like to do the strong contouring anymore. I feel like it doesn't make my face prettier and I think when I do it just lightly with a fluffy brush like this, it looks so much more natural and nice. For my nose, I'm going to use the same Hoola bronzer, but I'm going to take a this is a nameless brush. I don't even know where I got it, um, but I'm just going to use this brush. And then with a clean brush, I'm just going to blend it a little bit. Blush, I'm using this BH Cosmetics Floral Blush in the shade Caribbean Coral. And I really like to apply my blush over my contour. So for highlighter, I'm first taking this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Stole the Show. And I'm just taking that on a dual fiber brush. Just load it up like this. And I'm just gonna stipple it on the highest part of my face. And then of course I'm gonna use my own brand, Meraki Cosmetics. This is the loose highlighter in the shade Cibel. And of course in the description I will put the link and a discount code. You honestly just need the tiniest tab on your brush as you can see it is so pigmented it is pure pigment and it just blends like a dream can you guys see that i love i know it's my own brand and maybe it is stupid to be so obsessed with your own product but I just really, really love the product and there is nothing else here in the Netherlands that can compare to it. Um, I know it's my own brand and of course everybody says that, but I really, really mean it. It is so beautiful. I'm just gonna apply it to the tip of my nose and then more between my brows. So now I'm just gonna spray my Fix Plus and my Urban Decay All Nighter to make my makeup last all day long and then move on to lips. And then lastly, my lips for today, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Dolce. I'm not using any lip liner or anything, just straight up the liquid lipstick. And then this is the complete look. I absolutely love it. I think it is super pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video about how I do my base for Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then please a thumbs up and also subscribe down below. If you click the notification bell, you will get a notification whenever I upload because I don't have a schedule. So um, yeah, you just have to keep an eye on my YouTube channel or just subscribe and click the notification bell. If you don't follow me on Snapchat or Instagram or Twitter, my name is exactly the same everywhere. It's Kim Der Stegen. It's just my name. It's the same everywhere. I love all of you. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. 